Hey guys, Just for Sweets here. Today I am going to share with you the making of a cowboy cake. Um, I already made it, but I got this idea when I was taking it out of the freezer to just kind of share it with you. Um, this is for a one-year-old uh, birthday party. Well, it's not even a birthday party. He turned one last week. It's um, a client of mine and um, I do well I've done her hair in the past but her and her mom order cakes from me and um, she does a lot of home photography and and is doing a photo shoot with her little one today and she's gonna have him dressed in his cowboy gear and all that so she wanted something that was westerny so she wanted just a single cake that he could dig his hands into and so I just made a six inch layer cake two layers and we made a banana cake and put some fresh strawberries and whipped cream in the middle and then um, a vanilla buttercream frosting. But I wanted to make it look kind of outdoorsy, westerny in a kid way, not in an adult way. So um, I'll kind of spin it around here. You can see these are the hay, the hay barrels, haystacks. There's a cowboy boot right there. Another haystack. Um, then we have a chocolate mustache, kind of a western looking mustache, another cowboy boot, a cowboy hat, and then on top of course we have a little pony and um, another cowboy hat with a hay, a hay barrel and a cowboy, another cowboy boot and some little rocks. So it was kind of fun. I had a good time with it. Um, I started playing and I just kept going and going. So if it's a little overboard, <laughs> it's because I was having too much fun. So I wanted to share with you what I did. So like I said, I did a double layer cake, frosted it. And then all I did was um, I got these chocolate molds online. And this is a cowboy hat and a cowboy boot. And I uh, did my chocolate molds and froze them. And then there was one that had the different mustaches. As you can see, there's still chocolate in them. I need to wash them out. Um, and then I got a Cindy pony, which means, you know, you can put it together and then it makes a full pony or you can just use one, one side or the other. It comes in two pieces. So I made my chocolate ponies, my chocolate hats and boots and mustache and did those, um, and froze them so that they were nice and set up. The hay barrels or haystacks or whatever they're called. Um, I made actually haystack cookies and you can look those up. I'll, uh, I'll probably do them in a video here shortly, but I, I made just haystack cookies and then I bought regular shredded wheat, nothing, you know, no sweets or anything on it. And I crushed it up and put it on top so that it looked like hay. We also took that and put it all the way around the cake. Um, but before I put that down, I put an, a layer of icing so that it had something to stick to. And then I also took some Oreos, just the cookie part, crushed them up so that it looked like there was dirt um, in with the hay. So that's how we did that. And then um, these are little chocolate rocks, and I got those at World Market, but I'm sure you could find them online. Or sometimes um, Walmart has a, a container down the candy aisle of chocolate rocks. So um, I did that. And then um, I secured the pony by putting him on a, a lollipop stick. When I put them together, I added some extra chocolate, put that lollipop so that he had something to hold on to. I mean, because I didn't want him to tip over while she's doing the photo shoot. So that's all I did. I just set everything around. Everything is shredded wheat, Oreo cookies, haystack cookies, and chocolate. And then I am going to let you see me do my finishing touch here with, um, I'm going to make a rope to put around the horse and this will add a little bit of extra color for her photo shoot and I just bought Twizzlers and they're the kind that separate you can just pull them apart and sometimes you got to go really slow because they'll break really easy so we just get some Twizzlers and we want to make a rope and all we really need is one one single piece of licorice, a whole bag for one single piece, but I'm sure my children will not mind at all. <laughs> They'll have a good snack or, you know, something to take to the movies. So all I'm going to do is, is loop a little, a loop-de-loo in this. So I'm basically just tying, you have to be really careful with the licorice because it can, it breaks if you pull too hard, okay? All right, so 
I might even do one more because that's kind of a short rope. So we're gonna pull, whoopsie, told you it breaks. That's okay though, because we don't need this one to be all the way. So just kind of pull gently. Not too gently, but not too fast. Okay, so that's probably good. And all I'm gonna do is kind of take the two pieces of licorice and I'm not even gonna tie them. I'm just gonna mesh them together. So I'm just gonna kind of take my fingers and roll it around and see how it connects them. Kind of twist it a little bit. There you go. That connected it good enough. So here we have our little rope and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer it over the horse. So it's kind of laying there and then Kind of circle it back here and I can cut part of it off because it's too long and you can use scissors I just use the tip of my finger now and they are clean I did wash my hands this morning <laughs> all right so there we go we added the little rope to it and there is the end of the cake so this is how I made a cowboy western cake for a photo shoot and birthday and if you have any questions feel free to leave me some comments and ask me and um, if you have any suggestions on something that I could do a little bit different, I love to hear those as well. I always like the input. Um, thank you for all of you out there, <clears throat> excuse me, who watch my videos. It means a lot to me. And um, if you'd like to, you can join me on my Facebook page. Um, I do have a Just for Sweets page. Or you can look under uh, Michelle Wright Gallic, and you can add me that way as well. Um, and I would love for you to join me on there and, and leave comments on there as well and invite your friends to join so that they can check out my videos and um, just see what I do every day. So anyway, um, if you like this video, please hit the like button and I hope the lighting is better on this one, Mercedes. It's in my kitchen, so there's a lot more light. <laughs> um, and uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We do a lot of fun things on this channel and we have a lot of fun. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Until next time, next video, God bless.